This is the first that I've seen of the dinner plate dahlia that I planted this year. It's going to be the pretty, like, fuchsia color. Lots of other buds. I just love dahlias. You know, I got a kind of a bad story about dahlias when, when I first started gardening. I didn't really know any better and um, left all my dahlias in the ground and they all ended up rotting and over the winter time um, with the freeze and everything they just ended up dying so this one I just have one and I, I figure I can dig up one. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. I haven't been out here in a couple days, that's awesome. These are uh, purple potted shelling peas. That's pretty, th that's pretty thick. <laughs> it's like, it's thicker than my thumb. Well, you decide. About the same size, maybe. And then there's another kind of pea. Although I can't remember what kind it was. But I don't think it was a snow pea, because snow peas don't really get this thick, even when they go to seed. I, I don't... not that I recall. Pretty cool. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this pea. Wow. I seriously don't think I've ever in my life <laughs> grew a pea this big. I mean, obviously it's beyond the, the good eating stage, but like, I'm going to keep this for, seed, for seeds for sure. I mean, that's some good genetics right there. Wow. Longer than my finger. Look at this one. <laughs> That's crazy. That's pretty cool though. Crazy cool. Look at that. How big that is. Oh, you know what? I bet you why they're growing so good right here. It's because it's right next to the chicken coop. <laughs> so of course, they're getting all that extra nitrogen and fertilizer. Here's that cucumber that's struggling, but you know what? Now that it's getting more sunlight, now that I harvested the purple cauliflower, I think it might actually make it. It's turning greener, it's getting bigger. You can tell it's getting little flowers getting ready to open. Sunflower. These are my favorite golden raspberries. Mm. Cabbages are doing good. Starting to get their little heads. Okay, so this is kind of cool. These are those zucchinis uh, on the last garden tour um, that I showed you that were just like super yellow. The leaves were dying. They were basically like, like looking like this, but like way more yellow. I cut off almost all the dead stuff and I planted them in this area where I harvested my broccoli and my cauliflower and Figuring that they would probably do good once they were planted, and sure enough, they have. I've um, put some liquid fertilizer on them, put some Epsom salt, um, didn't really do anything to the soil. That was already amended with compost at the beginning of the year. And uh, and then put all these wood chips over the top, and uh, they're already looking improved. You can see the amount of moisture in there that these wood chips maintain. It's really nice. Urge urge anybody to use wood chips. I've had nothing but a good experience so far. This one's greening up. It's the greenest I've seen these all year. 
So they'll, they'll definitely have a comeback. You just get them, give them a fighting chance and you know, nine times out of 10, they'll come out winning. They're super good. There's uh, two different kinds here. Melting Mammoth, which is a snow pea. And then there's uh, also these sugar snap peas. Whoa, that could be a sugar snap pea mammoth cross. I'm not quite sure, let's, let's see what it tastes like. It's kind of crunchy. Mmm, really good crunch. Could be a little sweeter, but I like things really sweet when it comes to fruits and vegetables. And you know, it's just now doing good, these peas. Um, <laughs> it is July 11th. It's actually, I mean, my husband's anniversary, so seven years now. And uh, peas don't typically do good uh, into July around here. It gets really hot, and we have had some 80 and 90 degree weather days, um, and they're, they're still kicking it. They're doing really, really good. My favorite way to eat these is right off the plant. And then probably my second favorite way is like in a stir fry. And then uh, of course in salads as well. Perfect for kids too. That's the asparagus and then I'm letting go. Sunflower, mammoth gray stripe. 